not too bad. I'm boiling. The weather's great at the moment, isn't it? <laughs> it's 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 awful. It's I it's too sweaty. Uh, it's it's too cloudy today. It's close. That's the word. It's, it's the close. humidity. It's the humidity. Yeah. I'm actually a bit of a, a cloud um, geek. So oh, I really? can, like, I can tell you all the formations. Yeah. But um, it's the humidity. Nice. I've just been out coaching little children tennis, and oh my god, none it's, of us. It's 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 not <laughs> the day for it. I, I, oh, no. Awful. <laughs> no. How have your um previous duties been? Interviews, all of that today. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's been alright. We only yeah. had we only had one today. But we've had right, quite okay. a few recently. But yeah, it's good. It's good stuff. Yeah, it's weird seeing like just you two. Like mm-hmm. rather than like yeah, no. a big collector beforehand, how's it been kind of doing like interviews and stuff like without? I mean, just as a condensed version, I guess. I mean, it's it's all right. I love love the it's way uh, easier. Love the other guys, but they weren't always the most talkative. <laughs> so, no, so it's so much. To be honest, it yeah. was mainly just me and you that did stuff anyway. So it's not that. Yeah. Much and in terms of like talking about like the music writing process and stuff would you say it drastically changed once you've kind of like cut down numbers obviously not necessarily like kicking them out as such but <laughs> <laughs> not necessarily that savage um, <laughs> um no again it didn't i mean didn't it, really it, change. It, it was different for me but not necessarily because of that like a bunch of the songs are, that are on the record are songs that say i wrote and a lot of them like I did more of than say James had done for for those songs, and that was like quite a new dynamic, and it was it was just very even, which yeah hasn't necessarily happened, but it 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 didn't change a huge 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 amount. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> In terms of like the like how the record came about, mm-hmm. that was quite different beforehand, right? In terms of it was lockdown yeah. that whole just horrible patch in life um do you want to talk a bit about that and how it actually like kind of came about yeah sure well we it came about by us deciding to not be a band anymore really like at the end of at the beginning of 2020 2020 just before covid we decided we had a meeting we were like we can't do this anymore because it's just killing us really and so we decided to stop it when our separate ways didn't tell anyone because like I guess we just never got around to it. And well, then were, COVID hit. Yeah, there were weirdly bigger things going on. Um, yeah, well, no, at that point there wasn't because COVID wasn't a thing, but then it, it hit and kind of sorted it out for us because we didn't really mm. have to, everything got cancelled, so we didn't have to, like, tell anyone, really. Well, everything got pushed first, do you remember? It was, re- it was really weird, just thinking back to that. It was like the postponing, yeah. Yeah, I, I, and, and then people just going, oh, no, no, this is here. Let's, uh, let's just yeah, kill it. Yeah, this is going to last um, two weeks. Yeah. Do you want to carry on, mate? Uh, yeah, sure. And and so like, uh, yeah, it's, it's like then like the lockdown year or whatever happened, we got into the start of 2021 and things opened up again a bit. And as a result, we had to start having the conversations about like, how do we close up shop of like, yeah, uh, uh, like an operating business. And so like we had had some shows, as, as I was saying, like they got postponed and then subsequently cancelled for the summer of 2020. And so we were looking at, say, getting some more shows to, like, kind of go out on and thought it'd be nice to put a song out. And I'd kind of been writing away quite feverishly for the first part of 2021, um, not necessarily for Death of Anna or anything, just to try and, like, keep myself busy. And um, I thought I had a song that would be perfect. And James and I went into the studio to do it. And that's now, like, track two on the record called 19 Dreams. And it just went basically it just went really well felt really different and really fresh and kind of just started something in me that made me go mm, like there's something here and uh like a month and a bit later we had 12 tracks and uh yeah yeah it, so it, i read i read on one of like your um press releases or interviews or something that nevermind was written in like 10 minutes <laughs> is much. that is that like how did that how did that come from A to Z, like in terms of writing it and doing it? I, I don't know. Like some some songs take a year to write or years yeah. to finish, and some songs take ten minutes. It was just one of the ones. I, I guess it was just laying. It was just in me somewhere, and I just had to like as cheesy as that sounds. Like it must have been because it 
I was just messing around because basically when we recorded the song that he just mentioned, 19 Dreams, the guy who recorded it, Mike, was like, you should try and do an acoustic song. So I just went home and was like messing around on my guitar. And it it just, I don't know. It, I don't know where it came from. I was just, I, I never actually wrote it down. I just like said lines and the next one came out, the next one came out. I think I might have already had the chorus from like an old song. So maybe that was already there. But other than that, it, it, I literally wrote it in 10 minutes. I think you can hear but that. That never though. happens. I, I think that's why it works. There's like a like a sad urgency to it that I, I, I think is great. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. And I think as well, like in terms of something I find quite interesting, I, like going through like the different albums, listening to the stuff that you guys have done. I feel like each album almost has like a different genre that you'd almost like tag it as. Um. So this one in comparison, like I've obviously had a little listen, but how, like, how would you necessarily, or like, how would you, what genre would you give it per se? No, it's, 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 I think it's, it's like, a, it's a combination of it's, like it's, all it's, the previous records together. Like synthy pop rock, isn't it? But yeah. I don't really, but I, I don't really know. If, I, I, I find it quite confusing because we didn't really, I mean, you're right to pick up on it. Previously, we've definitely been like, let's sound like this for this record. Let's sound yeah, like this. Definitely. And, and kind of backed ourselves into a bit of a, like, creatively genre based corner. Yeah, like, and, which is kind of quite restrictive. But um, I was going to say, like, I feel like putting a, a genre label, like, obviously I have asked the question, but it is very restrictive in terms of, like, yeah. can you really, like, just be one genre? Yeah, and, and it, it just, it, it, gets, it gets a bit dull, I think sometimes um Definitely. but like we obviously we've learned from that in different ways like whether that's how we like certain things to sound what sorts of songs necessarily work better than others when we were doing things in certain genres but like we weren't really listening to listening to any uh, music at the time of making this record and I, I think that really comes out because we were just kind and also no one knew we were making it and so we we didn't have like a and r yeah. people saying you need more pop bangers on this or whatever and so we just yeah. kind kind of just wrote the songs we wanted to hear and as a result i think there are elements from everything we've kind of done before in there um, and have you felt a lot more kind of like creative freedom with this record massively yeah and, so much so and in terms of like fans how have like so you've released i think four of the mm -hmm. 12 so far how have fans yeah. kind of responded to that so far I mean, I'm not going to lie. I don't think I've seen any negative comments. Well, I don't really look at comments, but it feels much more positive than normal. Why do you think that is? Because I don't know. Maybe it's because they can tell that this time we're actually being fully authentic and like we didn't, we weren't trying to please anyone. We we're just writing music that feels like it should be the music we play. So maybe the, yeah. they, I mean, I, they can definitely feel that. Yeah, I, I, I do think um, audiences as as actually smarter than i think a lot of people think and um you, you can, yeah you, you can definitely feel when something's not authentic i think and, um, i think like having been in like a fair few like crowds and stuff at like gigs or festivals or whatever you can so tell when someone likes the song that they're singing or if they're ab ab absolutely and yeah. and that's the like when people say do you have an eye on like how these songs are going to come across live when you're writing them in the studio normally you say no but th that's the most important thing to think of i think because that's where it really gets shown up um there's a the really the there's a great quote i can't remember who it's by but it's like people pay money to see like people on stage enjoying themselves and like having yeah. the time of their life yeah and i feel like actually that is like the most important thing like even if it is like a career or whatever like you've got to have fun with it well you're the you're the oh, yeah you're the um conductor basically at that point yeah. and if, if you're having a bad one then everyone has a bad one and so it's it is kind of your responsibility as well to a point yeah and like kind of coming back to like the genre things because I feel like your different records have kind of tapped into different genres your fans have like have they kind of gone all over the place have you kind of tapped into new fans when you've had like a heavier kind of record um have you kind of lost a few fans when you've gone more synthy like <laughs> How's it compared? Or have you had like a pretty solid fan base who are just like, do what you want? We definitely gained, like, we've had a basic solid fan base, but then through different albums, we've gained different people. Like when we released an album called Old Souls, loads we, of older people started we, to come see us. We, and then Yeah, well, p people who are into us started bringing their dads. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah. And then they stopped coming. The dads just kept going. And then when we released <laughs> an album called Rituals, that was loads of way younger people, like more girls I saw in the crowd, which I guess that was more, I don't know. I don't know why really, but, and they, some of them have stayed and some of them have, so it'd be interesting to see what the fan base is now. But I but mean, I, 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 do, I do think there's obviously like a, a core of people who've, you know, kind of got into the band quite young and have kind of grown up with with us to a point i guess and so mm. it's, it's just quite interesting to see how that dynamic changed uh, do you feel like changes. a bit of like a, a connection and like nostalgia whenever you like go and see like returning fans or do you start noticing people yeah definitely there's a few there's definitely it's, some that we know it's like particularly if they've been around from like years ago we'll make a point of like talking to them and stuff because they would like hang out with us back in the day and we were playing in like rubbish pubs <laughs> It just, it, it always blows my mind at like that level of commitment when you see people at like more than one date on a tour, because I'm like, I obviously love music. That's why I'm doing this. But like, e- even my favorite bands, that much. even my favorite bands, I think I'd, I'd be like, oh, but traveling. <laughs> like, yeah. And, and so it's, it's always just incredible to see. Like, there was um a quote, which I read where I can't remember which one of you it was, but you said misery breeds creativity. Yeah, I mean, um, I really love that quote. I think like there's some like really something really beautiful about it, um, and it's like really quite hopeful. Why? How did you even like? I mean, it shows that you can write lyrics, doesn't it? <laughs> By the fact it's such a like good kind of statement as such. But in terms of like the misery, I also saw some stuff that was about the kind of touring lifestyle and like the going and touring, having a laugh, having drinking, all of this. You're obviously going on tour again for this album, doing a record tour, and then also your headline tour afterwards. How are you going to kind of adapt your touring so that it's perhaps better for your mental health? Well, I'm older now and I just need to sleep. <laughs> if, if, I, if I don't hit a certain amount, I am a insert expletive here, basically. I just... Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, um, yeah. It's, 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 it's hard because it's... It's not as simple as just like adapting it. It's, it's more you have to like be, I think it would be better this time just purely because we're in a slightly more positive, not even positive, just like a, I actually want to play music now. Whereas before I was just like, just, I was just thought I had to be there. Um, so yeah, I think, I mean, hopefully it will be, it will be just a lot more positive just because it's different and we're a bit fresher now, but I don't know, yeah. we'll see. I'm sure there'll be days when it sucks because there always is, but hopefully on the whole yeah. I mean it's it, it, it can get uncomfortable like as just a live like constantly moving and being somewhere else all the time and you, you get that in- injection of adrenaline at like 9 p.m each night which keeps you up for ages but like I, I just know how to look after myself a lot better now and to listen I, I know who I am a bit more so instead of trying to dull that down by getting absolutely smashed every night um I yeah there's other things I want to do like I'm yeah so would you say so, more of like an age and maturity thing? Definitely. Definitely for me. I, I, I don't think so for me. I, I think it just depends what headspace I'm in. Like, I haven't, I haven't matured at all, I think. <laughs> I, I still don't know. How, I, there's still going to be days where I'm not going to want to be there. But I don't know. Yeah. I just have to just deal with it, don't you? I think as well, like, in terms of, like, the creativity aspect of it, as soon as you almost like put a label on it, like, oh, it's my career or whatever. I mean, I found like even studying a subject, which I used to love, it just mm. makes me automatically hate it. Yeah, 100%. So, definitely. yeah, I don't, like, how do you, how do you kind of like navigate that when you obviously all love music, as do I, you're doing it as like a big career, but like, sometimes I guess it drives you to almost want to be like oh I hate music yeah it, it, it definitely can do and I, I mean I, I think this record the presence of Horrorland, is from specifically from that kind of feeling like I, I had such a big hangover from the last decade of being in this band basically that j- throughout lockdown I barely listened to anything um and yeah it's it's just it, it's it's being able to, or tr- trying to make sure you remember the things that you love in it, because it, 
that can easily get lost when you're tired and you just it, it is a, well, it's a job after a point and as as you rightly said like that it, that very quickly kind of can take the like the fun out of it a bit but it is very important to remember to have that fun and enjoy just playing music because it's pretty mad no. yeah do you think that's just a, a life thing or a specific thing that the music industry could work on I don't know. A bit, probably a bit of both i mean there's yeah i don't really think that it's not really the music industry's fault that we end up it's more to down to the person is it like some people love it some people love the the routine and like treating it as a job for me it gets a bit i'm sure if i got paid shit loads of money i wouldn't i'd be happy to do anything but the reality is you don't so it's hard to like in those instances you really do have to try and remember why you want to do it but yeah. i don't i don't know if it's necessarily the i guess the only thing they could do is offer like support like mental health support well, that's that, that's really... that is an area that i think is that has a lot of catching up to do frankly as an industry like uh, i guess overlooked they treat, like not us necessarily but like imagine like huge pop acts, pop artists you know? in, in particular i think they get I mean, treated like machines like they it's, don't, it's they don't grim treated, like humans hmm. i think get, the managers with, just making yeah with like i have some friends for example and they said that their manager wanted them to produce like write 50 songs and then they choose five for an ep it's like sorry, they're not even allowed to go to the studio before they have 50 songs are you joking <laughs> yeah uh, it's, and um, it's more just like the touring as well i just put you on tour for two years and like yeah and and I mean, some of the human some of these, beings aren't supposed to do that but also some of these people will be so young as well uh, that, that they won't necessarily like obviously there's raw talent there but they won't necessarily yeah. know how to like look after their voices and things like that and so like if, if you're just constantly wall-to-wall -to -wall touring, you're just... I think, blow, yeah. Blow your I mean, we've touched on, like, multiple things to flag up there, like, in terms of, like, the age, but also, like, consuming and, mm -hmm. like, the consumption of music. Like, people are expecting new songs at rapid rate because yeah. just, like, attention, like, TikTok. Like, I was talking to... I can't remember who it was now, but they were saying, like, songs are probably going to end up becoming, like, shorter in length because people don't constantly have the attention yeah you, you can already see it you can already see it or they don't have as long of like a instrumental intro like intro -y bit like it has to be lyrics from the get-go also with age like you come into like i don't know for me as well it's also like do they actually have the opportunity to get a proper education or like have a childhood if they're already being thrown into yeah, such yeah, like yeah. an adult world and and you see like yeah. so many young people be like facing like issues or like oh my gosh my siri just popped up <laughs> um but like you see so many people kind of or like artists at any age having like having to go to rehab for like drugs or alcohol or just any kind of like substance and solvent yeah, yeah yeah like it's it's unnorm unnaturally common it's really quite concerning how normalized it is yeah. definitely but I think I want to finish on like a more positive note. Hey. <laughs> like, so the album's coming out on Friday. Yep. That's very exciting. How, like, are you having a, like an album release party or like a little celebration? Um, well, we, I we, wanted to get one, but no one fucking sorted it out. So we used it. <laughs> so, I mean, you, you, you could have like, got, you, you could have started party planning, but. It's not my job, mate. <laughs> Uh, we're playing a show at like a record for like a record store, but other than that, we're not doing anything. And we're, we're do, doing well, like a we're release, doing that for like a week. Some release yeah. shows, mm. yeah, which would be cool. It'd be a good laugh, and uh, yeah, just really excited to get it out. To be honest, yeah. How long have you sat on this for? Ages, um, like uh, nearly a, a year. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, so I bet you just want it out now. <laughs> yeah, it's it's just really confusing because it's the release date has been like ages away for age like forever, and now it's tomorrow so it's just two days yeah 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 so it's like all oh, right <laughs> but the good the positive thing about that is i'm not sick of the songs yet yeah whereas normally normally by now i'd be like oh god i don't want to release this anymore because i've already written better ones but i still love it so that's yeah that's probably that's how cool. like another way to kind of i mean it's evidence that like you actually kind of are enjoying the tracks that you've made and you're enjoying like yeah. the experience a lot more and it's a lot more kind of 
genuine or authentic. Absolutely. Definitely. Um, I have been told that my time is up. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> but um, thanks for chatting. No, of course. Thank you. Thanks for having us.